I, I now call the leader of minority in the National Assembly, one Honorable Wendai. Karibu sana. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, of the Defense Forces, the Kenya Defense Forces, Honorable William Ruto, you are uh, the Deputy President, Your Excellency Rigadi Gachagua, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the two speakers, uh, all protocol observed. Uh, mine is very, very simple. First and foremost is to congratulate the Parliamentary Service Commission for this wonderful achievement. Your Excellency, when we came to this parliament for the first time in 2013, this was a parking lot. And we parked our cars here for about two or so months before the, ground, the, the foundation was, was laid of this wonderful building. But we cannot forget that this project was perhaps conceived by the 10th parliament under the leadership of Speaker Kenneth Marendi. Later on, of course, the project was undertaken under the chairmanship of Speaker J.B. Muturi, who is here with us. And a lot of other people have contributed to the completion of this project. Let me say also, Your Excellency, that a number of things have been said about this project in the public. But I must also confirm that in the 12th Parliament, I was privileged to chair the Public Accounts Committee. And I was also uh, in that committee with my good friend, Honorable Allen Adendwale, and he's here, and Honorable Macau, the Commissioner. At no one time were we able to establish any form of impropriety, because we were able to look at the books of accounts for the PSC. And therefore, Your Excellency, I want to allay any fears that could have been there, uh, that perhaps this project uh, has been shrouded in some form of mystery or corruption. You know, I like uh, talking about facts. When I talk out there, I talk when I've got facts at my fingertips. And therefore, for this project, Your Excellency, uh, if I were to be asked, I would give it a clean bill of health. <laughs> uh, and therefore, for us as members of parliament, I think we are privileged. In this part of the world, I must say actually in the entire Africa, no parliament has got this kind of facility. I can tell you. Uh, we have been able to go across the continent and beyond. A number of parliaments, even in the Western world, lack this kind of facility. And therefore, we must actually pat ourselves on the back as a country, first and foremost, and also as a parliament. So, Your Excellency, thank you very much and, uh, for accepting to come and grace this wonderful location. We look forward to working with you more and more <laughs> as a parliament. As a parliament. Thank you very much. God bless. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, the, reason why, the reason why we are having this kind of Roikom Mchusi mix is because, Your Excellency, you know, the journey of funding this building is about exchequer releases. And these majority leaders in the houses have really been of great help when it comes to us uh, asking for or requesting for exchequer releases. That is one of the biggest challenges that we've had. And Your Excellency, within us is one gentleman who used to walk to Treasury to demand 